Screening action inside the key for Freer. Doesn't get open. Great though. D there. Really good D. Yep. Been impressed by Emily Winter for Woodville so far. Oh, and and it's a block by Joins. There they go. And Woodville now need to push the ball yep. up. Yeah, absolutely. Attack that rim. Oh, 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 and a hard screen. Stratford goes down, and it's a three point. To Joins Turner, with a Joins gets the put Drops back, it and in. it goes in. Okay. So she may have rolled that ankle in that last couple of seconds, but you see Joins there with a nice right hand hook for the finish. Yeah, nice finish there. Yeah. Nice read. <laughs> Face gave it away. Oh, nice read there. Yep, and ball inside to Joins. Good three man action in there for, yep. for Woodville there. Yep. And Forrest will now creep in a couple of transition turnovers into the game. Oh, Turner nice McCarty move. gets around Hines, goes for the sidestep, doesn't go, joins for three, and oh, hits it. Kick. There you go. Nice. This is his energy, though. I'd like to see Forrest will get up yep. and really start playing, really cranking that D now. And it's good heads-up play by Hines, getting over on help side. That's probably what's been missing the last couple of giving goes. And a foul called on Simons, with joins getting the end one there. Getting open a little bit too easy there. Lack of help yeah. side. Yeah. And could have been a rebound to Stratford, but doesn't go with it. And Woodville are away here. Oh, puts pass. it up there for the alley oop for Joins, who puts it in. Yeah. Of course, you recall last time, Woodville uh, absolutely dominating Forestville in a, in a loss that I had in the sort of 30-odd years I've been playing at Forestville. I hadn't seen that bad before. In the semi-final match uh, tomorrow against WA, and the SA Metro girls, I believe, are playing now.